In this video, we are going to talk about directing groups. This is a very important topic of organic chemistry because the according to the A2 syllabus, because in the past papers, the questions that came from organic chemistry, approximately 30 to 40 percent were from this topic. So please prepare this topic very, very nicely. OK, guys, so let's get started. In the previous videos on benzene in the electrophilic substitution reactions, when benzene ring, an isolated benzene ring that had no substituents attached was attacked by an electrophile. So the mechanism appeared something like this, in which there was an electrophilic attack. Then this electrophile could go on to any of the six carbon atoms of benzene ring because uh, the benzene ring is symmetrical and electron density is uniformly distributed upon the benzene ring. So the electrophile can attack any of the six carbon atoms with an equal probability. So the electrophile is equally likely to get attached to the first carbon or the second or the third or fourth, fifth or sixth. Any of the six carbon atoms uh, can get the electrophile. So let's say the electrophile gets attached to this carbon atom. After the electrophile is attached, this carbon to which the electrophile gets attached is given the number one. Then the rest of the carbon atoms are numbered accordingly. You may go in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction in the numbering. It doesn't matter because both the sides are symmetrical. Okay, so I've numbered them in the clockwise direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You can also numbering number them in the anti-clockwise direction. Like for example, you can call this six as two uh, and five, three. 4 remains 4 and then 3 becomes 5 and then this becomes 6. So the anti-clockwise direction number. Okay, so this is the product that we had. Okay, now let's come to the main topic. This product of ours is known as the substituted benzene. And this group that is attached, the electrophile after attachment to benzene ring to a covalent bond is known as the directing group. This is what's called the directing group. Okay, now why is this called a directing group? The reason why this is called a directing group is that if now another electrophile attacks this compound, the num it will have five choices. The remaining five carbon atoms which are free, it can attack any of the five carbon atoms. The next electrophile, if attacks this compound, so and attacks the benzene ring, it will attack any of the remaining five carbon atoms. It can attack the second one or the third, fourth, fifth or sixth, any of the five carbons. But which carbon? And so now if the electrophile, the next electrophile that attacks this compound, it will not attack arbitrarily. It will not attack randomly, but rather will attack a carbon that has to be decided that will be decided by the group that is already attached to the the benzene ring some important points that i have written down if an electrophile attacks this substituted product it will have five carbon atoms we talked about that but the carbon on which the incoming electrophile will attack uh, it depends upon the group which is already attached to the ring we i told you guys this as well that if the electrophile that is uh, the actually the group which is already attached uh, to the benzene ring it will decide now which carbon the next electrophile will come and bond to now these groups which are attached they are of two types the directing groups are of two types groups which are already attached to benzene are the directing groups and they are of two types the first type are the activating directors directors which are activating they are actually groups which are electron donating groups they are two four six directors two four six directors means that they'll direct the incoming electrophile to either the second position the second position or the fourth position or the sixth position of the carbon atom well by the way the second and the sixth position are actually the same carbon atoms just the number sh numbering shifts so it's in reality it's the second position that is important so basically 
if activating director is up, uh, attached already to the benzene ring, the next electrophile will most probably come and attack the second carbon or will attack the fourth carbon. But it will not attack the third or the fifth carbon. Okay, so this is an important point. Or it can attack the sixth carbon because sixth carbon is the same thing as the second carbon. Okay, now, and these uh, directors are also known as ortho para directors. Ortho represents this second carbon, the second carbon position over here. This is also called ortho. And para represents the fourth carbon. The fourth carbon, this fourth position is also referred to as the para. So ortho para directors are alternative names of the same directors. Now, let's talk about a few examples. The examples basically electron donating and a shortcut a shortcut to identifying these directors is that they are mostly most of them are have lone pairs most of them have lone pairs so basically the atom which is directly bonded to the benzene ring the atom which is directly bonded to benzene ring must have a lone pair so it actually has a lone pair that's why it's electron donating for example the OH group and the NH2 group, both of them have lone pairs. So the nitrogen atom in the NH2 is directly bonded to the benzene ring and it has a lone pair. So this is an activating group, whereas the oxygen atom of the OH group is also directly bonded to the benzene ring and has a lone pair. So these two groups are both activating groups. Now, these are two specific examples and in most of the questions in the past papers they have been used so they they are actually very important examples now the third example this is also a very important example the alkyl groups the alkyl groups are also activating groups okay they okay in this case there are no lone pairs but there is another property that uh, that is responsible for their activating character and we are going to talk about that in a while now Let's talk about phenol first. Phenol and amine, both of them, and phenylamine. Okay, some important points. These are very important points. Let's talk about them. Lone pair of oxygen over here, this oxygen, it gets involved or is basically gets distributed, distributed or over the benzene ring, and in the and gets involved in the delocalized pi orbital of benzene. There is a delocalized pi system of benzene, the delocalized pi electrons in benzene, and then this, this lone pair of the oxygen also gets involved in that. So the lone pair of oxygen gets involved in the delocalized pi orbital of benzene, forming an extended delocalized pi orbital. Now this orbital that is formed as a result is an extended delocalized pi orbital, this entire orbital like this so this is an extended delocalized pi orbital this is a keyword please remember it and use it while answering your uh, questions regarding phenols uh, regarding phenols nature as an activating or a deactivating group okay basically the OH group actually so now this is a keyword extended delocalized pi orbital and it's gonna be used a lot in phenol chemistry so remember this the extended delocalized pi orbital is formed when the lone pair of oxygen gets distributed over the benzene ring now this makes the benzene ring more electron rich basically the benzene ring since the oxygen has donated its electrons to the benzene ring actually in its kind of the electrons of oxygen are kind of uh, moving around over the benzene ring and the oxygen so if they are basically the oxygen has made benzene ring more electron rich more electron rich so this means that the benzene ring becomes more reactive towards incoming electrophiles because the electrophiles are attracted to regions of high electron density when the region or when the electron density in the benzene ring increases the electrophilic attack on the benzene ring will also increase so electrophiles are more likely to attack the benzene ring after an electron donating group is attached to it either a nitrogen or an oxygen both of them are electron donating so therefore they'll increase the reactivity of benzene ring and hence make it more active more reactive towards incoming electrophiles now therefore these groups are activate the benzene ring towards incoming electrophiles so basically if i compare the reactivity of phenol with just benzene ring just benzene 
phenol is going to be more reactive with electrophiles because phenol has an act activating group attached to it, the OH group. So the lone pair of oxygen will basically get involved in the delocalized pi orbital of benzene and form an extended delocalized pi orbital. Now, while answering your question, well, basically I did see a question in which the, we were asked to compare the reactivity of phenol with benzene. So the answers, these three points are your answer. So just the lone pair of oxygen gets distributed. Distributed is a keyword, uh, actually it's used in the marking scheme. So better use it. The answer should be somewhere along these lines, okay? So extended delocalized pi orbital should be used. An electron rich benzene drink in phenol should also be used and then it becomes more reactive towards incoming electrophile. It was asked for, I think, two to three marks somewhere two to three marks so the comparison was for two to three marks okay now let's talk about the alkyl groups over here the alkyl groups the carbon atom does not have lone pairs how can that be an activating group now let's talk about that okay now let me tell you guys the key word to be used in this answer is the positive inductive effect Remember this, we did this in AS. The positive inductive effect is the ability of an alkyl group to lose its electron density, to actually release its electron density. So the ability of the alkyl groups to release their electron density. And in this case, when an alkyl group is attached to benzene ring, through positive inductive effect, it will release its electron density and donate it to the uh, benzene ring. Again, this will increase the electron density in benzene ring and hence uh, when the electron density in benzene ring increases, it will make the benzene ring more reactive towards incoming electrophiles. So this is all about activating groups. I'll talk about the second type of uh, directors in the next video, the deactivating, uh, deactivating groups of benzene ring. They actually decrease the reactivity of benzene oh one more important thing uh the yeah i did talk about that i think yeah i did talk about that uh, they are these groups are two four six directors so if i have an electrophile attacking the phenol group so it will most probably get attached to the second carbon or the fourth carbon okay not the third or the fifth position and similar is the case for nh2 thank you so much and uh We'll talk about deactivating groups in the next video.